Uh, if only I had more traction ammo. This is so tough. How do we beat these guys? They keep outperforming me on corners. It's really, really annoying. I know we're on a straightaway now, but you should have seen earlier. They just... Oh, there's the NSX again. Let's try him again. Okay, NSX. This is your moment of truth. Let's show these guys how grip tuning should be done. We can take them. Okay, my shift light's not working, but I don't think we're revving high enough. Okay, gaining on them. Okay, but not you on those gear shifts. Oh, he's going to get himself stuck there. No trouble. So, what are we driving today? Good question. It's a Porsche 911, but it's a bit of an old model here. This is the 1985 model. Really solid performer. Today, we're going to try and tune this to the peak of its performance aiming for MR tuning. How do you tune these vehicles to go around corners effectively and rapidly? I'm really glad you asked and I'm glad you guys are here. Let's launch in. Wow, that's a busy section there. Don't mind me guys, don't mind me. I meant to do that. Okay, so first things first, let's jump. You guys want to see how to do tuning? Well, let me see if I can give you a quick demo on how to do the tuning side of it. Okay, so very important. For the tuning, we don't need to recheck our vehicle, let's just go straight to tuning. Okay, there it is. Custom upgrade, we need all the good parts. So the most important thing that you want to start with is your wide body kit. You just can't go wrong. Engine swap, no, we're going to stick pure four wheel drive, same thing, we're going to stick pure to MR. We're going to see if we can get this thing to go around corners fast and effectively. Now, definitely need downforce, the wing is a great addition here, gives you the ability to refine the downforce. I don't typically run any, I try and minimize it all the way to give the best acceleration, but that's up to driver preference. The ability is there if you've got it. Whoa, I'm going too quick, I missed that one, there it is. In terms of rim size, I'd recommend increasing it slightly, uh, but you don't need to go too far, that just adds extra weight. And I guess style points, but that doesn't really help. Oh, that's a little glitchy there. Okay, I'm going to go for the Momos because they just look so good. There it is. Yeah, personal preference. Hopefully you like those as well. Oh, you guys hearing that? Uh, it's not bad. I feel like we need the Z-Dash. You guys want to see the Z-Dash? Let's switch that back on. Let's give this a go. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. Yep, no, that's it. Okay, those don't really make a difference. That's not bad. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. Yep. No, that's the one. Oh, crackle. Okay, little glitchy. Little glitchy. We'll tune that out. No worries. Yeah, that does sound incredible. Okay, so we're going to go for an S1 build here. We're going to grab all the performance parts we can get our hands on. And I do believe this vehicle is not quite going to get to the top of this one, but we're going to max it anyway and make a really solid performer out of it. Okay, I do need that race suspension. Absolutely need our anti-roll bars. They really help getting around corners and changing the characteristics of the vehicle. Here we get the roll cage. It reduces our points, adds a lot of weight. Okay, this is fine tuning at its best, so I'm going to go for some braces, they do stiffen the chassis, but we're not going to go for the full uh, kit on that one, we don't necessarily need it. And last, a lot of mods, let's grab my triple plate clutch, uh, I might go for the 7 speed, get our carbon shaft while we're here, nothing wrong with carbon, and uh, there's our race differential. Okay, that's fully upgraded, we are a little bit short of the top of S1, but that gives us a solid gain, losing a couple hundred kg. Gaining a whole lot of power, 479 kilowatt, that is awesome, and quite a lot of capability with those front tires, let's go for it. Now really having high expectations from this one, and super keen for this to become a really really solid performer. Okay, everything looks good, are you guys ready? Let's give this a quick test drive, we do need a racetrack, that's going to be important for this entire process. No, we're not going to go through the barrels. We're not here for that. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Okay, this is feeling pretty aggressive. Going to have to keep an eye on the dash. That's a lot of traffic. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, where were we? Okay, finding a racetrack and testing and fine tuning. We're doing all of it. All of it right now. Sorry, Z, coming through. Those uh, 350 and 370 Z's, really nice cars as well. Okay, this is feeling really solid right now. Um, I guess we can end the video there. This needs no tuning. It's perfect out of the box. You guys know it's not that simple. We can do more. Let's do some fine tuning on this. So, first things first. You can reduce your front and rear tire pressure. Why? Well, that just gives you more traction going through corners. Uh, this is where the gains are going to be had. We can lengthen first. I'm going to lengthen to the extreme because that's going to give us a lot of traction in first gear and a lot of traction in second. And then I'm going to shorten the rest of these gears. They're going to be really aggressive, really punchy. It means quick rapid up shifts but the benefit in all of that is we get a lot of acceleration which is what you want to overtake your opponents now in terms of your camber usually you want to do this progressively i already know the settings that are optimal for this vehicle and we'll go for four on the front that's negative four degrees and negative 2.8 on the rear those settings are fairly optimal for this particular vehicle we'll increase the caster as well we're going very aggressive here we want this thing to be a handling machine now anti-roll bars will really change the characteristics of your vehicle. And again, you want to go progressive on the adjustments until you find the sweet spot for your vehicle, but we're going to stiffen up uh, the front sway bar here. It's just going to help the car to really handle itself around corners. And we'll increase the rear progressively, but not going to increase it too much because we want the rear to have a little bit of a sway action to guide us through those corners. Okay, springs are quite important as well. We're going to stiffen this quite a lot maybe 800 on the front and because the motor's on the rear we need a bit more on the rear probably about 1100 yep that's excellent we'll reduce right height by two notches each don't want to bottom it out and rebound really important especially if you plan on going off-road in which case you probably want to soften that a little bit uh, but i'm just going to add a progressive amount onto each of these that should be more than enough to not hammer the car's performance okay there we go we need downforce well, we put the arrow on only to remove it. I like to reduce the downforce all the way. Braking force. We increase braking force a little bit, as well as shifting it towards the front. Uh, so slight bias there, and that really does help us in terms of getting around corners. Now, hopefully I understand that correctly. I'm adjusting that to the front or the rear. We'll have to double check that one in another video. Last one there, 9010. The 9010 is really important because that sets us up for a rather exceptional ability to get traction on our launches. Okay, that's fully tuned. Now all we have to do is test it out. Okay, there's no better way to test it than a quick race. Only a Rivington, this should be a drive without challenge. Okay, that's taking me where I don't want to go. Okay, see you later, man. Okay, first gear could be a little longer. We lost traction, but that's okay. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that Lambo. He's going to be quick around these bends as well, four-wheel drive. Okay, this is good. This is good. We can do do this. Bit of a blind corner. It's okay. I know these roads quite well. Okay, pretty pretty good balance right now. So definitely could do with more traction. You guys see that? I think the dash cut out. That's not good. That's not good. Sorry, slight technical errors we pause there. Okay, it looks like everything's working again. Good to see you guys are back. Let's finish that off. Okay, so I wasn't really worried there. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy. Okay, so next challenge is making some refinements. So I feel like overall this is pretty good now. You'll see we have a lot of ability to get around corners pretty quickly here. In fact, let's cut through here a little bit. Taking a slight shortcut, hopefully you don't mind. But also taking the opportunity to test the damping settings, and that's looking okay. So really watching the speed and the ability to go through with a little bit of pace. Okay, now that we're back on the road, let's stick to it. 
So, what are we up to? We're going to do a quick race. I have a really nice uphill pass that's going to allow us to test this vehicle's performance to the peak of its ability. And I can already tell we need to lengthen first gear a little bit more. Now, what I might do actually is just shift out the entire curve. Let's try that. I think second's okay. It might still be a little short. We'll test it out. Okay, no, this is feeling good. Excellent, that car was loud, wow. Sorry Lambo, not this time. Is that an NSX? It is too, beautiful car. Okay, no, this is feeling like a dream. I think we're ready for a proper race. Okay, there, there it is, the Vulcan Sprint. Let's go for a solo race and really just test out our performance here now do we want to change vehicle after all that work no way we're here for this one so in terms of grip tuning how much leeway is there on performance parts can you try out some other combinations absolutely you do want to try out other combinations and i think one major thing you could still change are the slip tires especially if the vehicle's performance rating can go higher right now this one's picked out no matter what we do, we can't go much higher. Four-wheel drive might give it a nice bump, but that's just not what we're here for. We'll tune that in a different video. So in terms of time, how will this perform? Will it outrun the opponents? I am kind of hopeful that it will. I haven't checked the difficulty. Should we do that while we're here? Pretty important to check your difficulty settings every once in a while. Now, we won't bother checking the graphics, but I'm sure you guys already know what that is. And... Uh, there it is, difficulty. Let's have a look here. Manual with clutch, excellent. Braking only. Well, we could get rid of it, but you guys might want to see that. Uh, we'll go for cosmetic. We'll keep rewind for comedic effect. And yeah, everything else there is looking good. Difficulty above average. Okay, that's a little low. Let's try highly skilled, right? We want this car to be reflective of some proper serious driving. Okay, we don't have time to waste. Let's do this. Intense. a bit a bit much that's not my fault dude give me some space here a little bit of space would be oh that's weird that could be one of the problems of increasing the driver tar difficulty there that was dirty dirty play we'll see if we can catch on gearbox really coming into its own here oh, i should just use the rewind function remind me next time can you rewind so quick to the start i don't normally use rewind so i'm not not familiar. It's okay, I'm confident we can gain on them. Nothing like a bit of cat and mouse. Right now, we are the cat chasing these guys down. Oh, lovely talk. Got them. You guys thought you could sneak away. Not on my watch. We're coming through. We'll apply a little bit of pressure there. That should psych him out. He does seem to be relatively fast. Oh, that was nasty. Nasty. I really felt that one. Wow. Okay, definitely having some trouble getting past them. They do appear to be much quicker than I'm used to. Okay, traction feels good. Our ability to get around corners is excellent. Definitely having some trouble getting through these guys. Sorry, planting the pedal to the middle there. Okay, these TBR 12 speeds are fast, but really slow around corners. It's okay, we'll take them. There's that Porsche again. Really pushing it. That was a little bit slow. Definitely lacking in traction there. We'll keep our gear. Sorry, man. Okay, not too sure that we can pull off a win here, but we're going to try. I don't think it's possible. 
Don't sell yourself short though guys. Always believe in yourself. You can do this. Okay, that's not a good entry. Oh, we're making some good ground through there. That's where that stiffer suspension really comes into its own. Okay, I don't think we've got enough there. That is a bit of a shame. We'll keep this gear. Come on, fourth. Make it for us. Oh, no, not quite. We need a bit more there. It's okay. That was a pretty good run, given that we were taken out of the start, which was dirty. We'll definitely get the uh, judges to review that, because I don't think that was fair at all. Oh, 3.01, that's definitely not my best time either. I think we can do a, a 2.95 on there if we try it again. So well done there, guys. I guess we'll call it a day there. Grip tuning, a very quick tutorial there, just running through some of the basics. If you want to see a bit more on grip tuning, check my other video. I'll go through it in a lot more detail. Uh, but for now, that's a really solid start. Grip tuning, Porsche 911 Turbo there. What an absolute machine. Take it easy. I'll see you on the next one.